Hi, I'm Katie Dayson, and this is your Tuesday update from Can Lions. Today it was announced that Paramount Pictures would be pulling out of Cannes this year following the tragic death of actor Anton Yelchin. The 27-year-old Star Trek actor was killed in a car crash on Sunday. Along with MEC, the studio is due to host a session tomorrow named Star Trek Beyond, retelling an iconic story for a new generation. In a statement, Paramount confirmed it would be cancelling the talk out of respect. Yahoo somewhat bravely took to the stage of the Palais today as rumours surrounding the sale of the company continued to circulate. When grilled on the matter, the company's chief revenue officer, Lisa Utschneider, brushed off the ongoing press speculation and said the company is just heads down and focused on the business right now. She added that marketers are still definitely interested in Yahoo's proposition and its three-pronged approach to advertising. Hollywood royalty Will Smith also spoke on stage today in conversation with Edelman. The actor and singer told the audience that he also sees himself as a marketer and has learned that the best brands are putting people before products. He said, no matter how great it is, if people do not want it, you are not going to sell it. Next up. Today, the Havas Group launched a new consultancy venture called The Smashed Group. We sat down with global CEO Andrew Bennett in the Havas Cafe to find out more. So the Smash Group is made up of three core pillars. Smashed Brand Innovations, which is a growth consultancy. Smash.co, which is our editorial platform. And Smash Labs, which is our tech accelerator. We're not an agency. We're a growth-oriented platform. And whether it's doing consultancy-like assignments, of which you know, we're engaging pretty heavily now with, with big brands, or leveraging Smash.co as a platform or, or the accelerator, we just feel it's the perfect time because Brands need technology, technology needs brands, consumers need all of it, uh, and I don't think anyone's really put the pieces together the way we're imagining. And finally, an app that won a bronze lion at Cannes earlier this week has been called out by some to be a fake. Grey Singapore developed IC in collaboration with the Migrant Offshore Aid Station in order to locate potential refugee boats in the ocean. However, users have found many problems with the app, such as incorrect weather information, leading some to believe it is a sham. Grey Singapore responded by saying the app is still in testing mode. That's it from me. Come back tomorrow for all the gossip from Cam. The Lions Health Awards took place last night. FCB Inferno bagged the Health and Wellness Grand Prix for its Project Literacy campaign with Pearson, which explained the link between illiteracy and ill health. Ogilvy and Mather also claimed the top prize for its work on Philips Brothers Choir, while the Buenos Aires Office of David won for its Man Boobs project.